Hi everybody, it's Matt, the tree guy from Vail, Colorado. We're here off of Meadow Drive and we are taking a look at a spruce tree today. What we're noticing happening in the valley here is pine needle scale becoming a, a bigger and bigger problem. So on the pine needles themselves, we'll actually have white flecking that'll occur. And what this is, is an armored scale. So underneath each one of these armored scales is 30 to 40 eggs. And in late June, typically these will hatch and then crawlers will emerge and then they will move out throughout the tree and then they will deposit 30 to 40 eggs and then it just picks up in generation after generation to become epidemic levels. So a good way if you have pine needle scale, like this tree does here in Vale Village, what we do to make sure that it's active is we take it and do a paper test. So you want to take the twig or the branch and just knock it against a white piece of paper. Now in the light you can see lots of little dots in here and that's actually the eggs of the pine needle scales. You'll do a smear test and then when you smear it on the paper you'll see lots of little red eggs and that means you have active pine needle scale. So once you've determined that you have active pine needle scale there's two ways that we treat for pine needle scale. We can do a foliar spray in late June or early July where we coat the entire canopy of the tree with a dormant oil and an insecticide or we can do a soil injection and inject safari into the soil with our deep root feeding program which that actually improves the overall health of the tree and it's in increasing the vigor of the tree. So we've actually noticed that's the, the greatest service that we can offer is to root feed the tree and at the same time provide a systemic injection into the soil. Now some benefits of this is environmentally we're not spraying pesticides up into the air, we're actually injecting a systemic into the root zone where it's translocated throughout the tree. It really is one of the best services that we can offer and there's no risk to the public. The public can enter the area while we're doing the service or right after we've completed the service and environmentally it's a lot friendlier and to other insects as well.